Hi everybody, this is Shah and this is your reading for the 10th to the 16th of August. I hope you enjoyed last week's uh, videos and remember we're already by the end of this coming week we will be at the middle of August and remember August is a very active and uh, strong power month there's a lot of positive things happening that's what the cards have been saying so I wonder what this week will bring and welcome back my cyber angels and thank you for your enormous support and uh, your shares and likes uh, a lot of you might be on holiday. If you are on holiday, please stay safe and enjoy your holiday and hope to see you back alive in safety and well-being. And for those that have just landed on this page, hi, I'm Shah, the Cyber Mum, as we have uh, live sessions as well on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So if you would like to join us in the live sessions, the live sessions is the Tea Room, known as the Tea Room, and the followers, the viewers, are my Cyber Angels and... Um, or cyber babes as they were known in the first early stages but they've prom I've promoted them to cyber angels okay if you would like to become a cyber angel and get a free card or have a question then I am willing to answer that so long they are supported by a super chat or a super sticker then join us on Monday Wednesday and Friday so please subscribe and hit the bell on all and then you'll be notified and I do put out extra notifications on Instagram Facebook and the community tab in YouTube there are a lot of exciting new things happening and that's why the intro is uh, slightly longer than usual. Um, I have done a couple of reviews and I've also um, been live for the first time on uh, Cyber Fair on Facebook. You can see the video on that as well. It was for charity and I, I am putting the link to the charity below each video this week. Um, as I would like to share things with you. I feel honoured and I'm, I've had a second chance after the two car accidents uh, that you all know about. I have whiplash and I've come through it and um, I would like to give something back, not just towards uh, anybody that's watching my videos, but to more people. Uh, the charity is for the children that are blind, but also uh, their families and the next of kin. I will leave the information below. Please feel free. Don't feel um, that you have to, but if you know somebody that's blind or a child with difficulties like that um, or has a parent that is blind, it it does affect other family members. So if you would like to donate, thank you very much in advance and everything is welcome, even if it is 25 cents. If we all club together, it can become a great whopping uh, amount and that will give them perhaps uh, a day out or a holiday or sustain them in an other way. I know what it is like to be without financial aid. Um, this is a small charity. Um, I don't like to support big charities too much because they get subsidized by the municipalities and the governments. Or other institutions so this is um, uh, from me and from uh, uh, my viewers hopefully and this will go directly to the Royal British Society for the Blind uh, you can check it out yourself because I'll leave the link of the website underneath this video and in uh, the description box and uh, also uh, the money doesn't come to me I don't want to receive any money please pay directly into the um, association for the blind thank you very very much if you feel you can do it and you want to do it there again um, 
I am stunned for words. I enjoyed the session. It was a life experience and you can see the video on how that went as well. And I hope to do it again sometime, hopefully next month, uh, see how things go. Let me know what your reaction is, whether you like uh, the idea that I'm doing this or have you got a suggestion of a very small uh, institution uh, or a trust that or an organization that could help uh, financial could benefit with financial help I'm willing to promote it because I'm got a, got a second chance and I'm blessed with you my cyber angels and my life and my children and my animals uh, so that's why I want to do it to a specific organization give a little bit back to society remember this is like the wheel of fortune and the world it's karma as well what goes round comes round thank you in advance and be blessed stay safe and i hope you enjoy the video ciao ciao hi gemini i'm shah and this is your first card for this week you have the star your wish or your goal is coming true i hope so <laughs> And you might be meeting an Aquarius. Okay, sorry about the puff and the huff. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm in a good mood anyway. I've had a good weekend and I hope you've looked at the live show. It's great. Okay, let's get back to the reading. And then you have the Empress. And the Empress represents Libra. And it also represents fertility. Sorry about that. Um, so you've got Aquarius and you've got Libra so it the our power is here the air signs um, okay so you can it's make or break when you meet meet one of these because they like to converse as well and listen as well and they are swift with their mind just like you Gemini uh, so you know it, it's going to be conversations like a little hen house I can just imagine it yeah 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 anyway the Empress represents Libra but she also is represents Mother Earth isn't she gorgeous she looks like Lassie and um, yeah and she loves the green and she is she always nurtures everything what she sows she nurtures until it's grown up and comes to fruition so she can harvest the fruit but she also represents fertility so the ground is fertile for new things to happen this could be a birth of a child or a new project you could find out you're pregnant if you don't want to get pregnant then take precautions please and she will nurture it like I said until it ha grows and comes into blossom and she can harvest it and she makes sure that she sows the right seeds all right she's very secure in that okay so you might meet a new love and you nurture it take time converse get to know each other that is how you get to know each other by communication lovely 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 so she's a lot like the Queen of Pentacles when you invest in something it takes time to grow take it slow that is what I'm hearing and you'll be fine you've in the end of the week you have the chariot you have victory you're the champion you're going onwards and upwards you've got public recognition so perhaps you might get recognition from the boss or employer if you are in service of an employer okay you might get a promotion Wow nice one if you haven't if you have your own business then there could be more people coming to your business you'll be recognized that you've got a sound business eth ethics and you do your work well you've planted the seeds very well to get the recognition and the fame 
you might be getting a car if you've had your eye on a car it will be yours no problems you might be moving home this could be also moving your business expanding even in times like these sometimes when the economy is bad it is good to invest in something else or uh, in, in like a bigger building or more room to expand uh, a lot of bus uh, people are losing business but there are other businesses that take these businesses over and flip them or buy a house and flip them perhaps that is your wish to buy a house and to flip it to make extra money well it's going to um, come in because you've got recognition if you're a builder you could be getting more and more work if you're selling clothes you might be getting more and more work because you've got a good agent that or if you go out you buy good stuff real earthly stuff like cotton not nylon and people want more natural things especially now with everything um, that is not real people want to get back down to the real old-fashioned things and you found that out and you've played your game well okay you could also be meeting a, a, a cancer as the chariot stands for a cancerian now the world the world you've got the world sorry about that you've got the world the world is your oyster now the world does represent uh, Aquarius, the world also represents Taurus, the world also represents Leo, and the world also represents Scorpio. So those are the four signs. Usually it is circular with all the emblems of the signs, the, of the elements, but not in this one. Let's have a look no not really not that I can see uh, perhaps this is fire but it looks also like a lotus so um, I d won't uh, guarantee that those are the elements because where are all the other elements ah yes we've got the four elements there 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 and there okay you've got the tree which is green so I take it that as earth then we've got water then we've got the bird which is air and then we have um, water which is Scorpio and we have the uh, fire sign which is Leo but world well, you could mean meeting one of these four so that is Aquarius Scorpio Leo um, or Taurus so those people could be significant in your world you might be doing business with them they might become business partners or you might be meeting a new love or you might already be hooked up and in a sense that you are going out or engaged then you will move up a level in your relationships or partnerships you be could become engaged or from engagement you could be getting married the angels have showing you the two pillars which look like an eleven they're giving you a new doorway to step through you might be traveling or moving home and that was already constant um, um, showing with the chariot so you might be moving in together if you're not living together that could be the next level up for you in every partnership there is something different um, meaning that could resonate with you moving in getting married forming a business and becoming a partner boom there you go you could also be going on holiday but this is also my karma card what comes round goes round because it's usually the world is round it's usually pre uh, 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 depicted in a world ball or some kind of wheel something round um, so what goes round comes that uh, comes round what goes up must come down if you've done good or bad it will come back threefold to you also if somebody else has done you good or bad it will go back threefold to them so there you are and that could be Aquarius Taurus Leo or Scorpio 
Now, what have we got here? From the healing of the angels, we have blessings. So, blessings, you're not alone. The angels are with you. Blessings could be more money. Blessings could be more love. Could be more friendships. Could be more security. Or a blessing in a new home. So let's just recap. You could have an Aquarius here, which is also in the world. We have Libra, we have Cancer, we have Taurus, Leo and Scorpio. Okay, so you are blessed with a lot of choices. Okay, then we have the card um, of Wayne Dyer and this card is the second secret don't die with your music still in you keep on singing in other words sing your glories the, the good things of life okay the angels do love to hear music and people singing relinquish fear and take risks yes we have to take risks from time to time but oh a feather has just passed my window so that is the angels sending messages okay so take the risk listen to your intuition try to find as many much information as you can keep charging forwards upwards and onwards but with dignity and with knowing what you have sown okay that is what the um, empress does she knows what she has sown so that she can nurture it in the right way like the rose might need other manure than a hydrangea so yeah th like flowers need more nurturing or specific uh, manure and way of handling than a tree so nurture it know what you are nurturing and taking care of okay your wish is coming true or your goal now coming back to relinquish fear and take risks you may have been conditioned to believe that you are inadequate or limited so the only way to challenge that type of absurd thinking is to go forward what you know you are here for and let success chase after you Ooh, nice one I just needed to hear that because for a long long time I thought I was never a good enough reader and thank goodness to my cyber angels they are they give me compliments so I know I'm all right and I'm giving something back to the world and I love it I love doing what I'm doing so that's a very good message for me I would say, okay, I know I shouldn't mention myself, but I'm a Gemini as well. And I'm, I do take risks, like I come out every week, and I hope I give good readings that resonate. Remember, take from this reading what you can, and if not, then have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign. And please do join us in the life. I go live on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Now, what you do need is a little bit of uh, relaxation. So use lavendel oil, just a tip, as you have lavendel. Connect, connect with your body to your uh, uh, wisdom, your brain, and your soul. Connect your mind, your body, and your soul. It is in Dutch. We've got number 44. We've got an angel number. I didn't sort them out. I didn't even know we were going to get this, and definitely not this. Okay, I haven't sorted out, but it's a beautiful reading. It is short, but it's strong. And four and four becomes eight, so that is the money house, and that is uh, also the strength house. So you are in your strength. Okay, and stop hiding. You've got the card hiding three is creativity but we are also the house three apparently because April is the first house Taurus is the second house and Gemini is the third house so we are definitely in our elements so stop hiding like this cat you're good enough who you are believe that 
and you'll start shining like a beacon and you'll be a magnet for others and you'll be noticed. You're as beautiful as you are in your own right. You're, remember, you're an individual and you're unique. There's nobody else like you. Okay, my gems, I love you. Take care and I hope to see you in the life. And if you're on holiday, have a great time and come back safe. Love, Cyber Mum. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all. And I'll see you in the life. Monday, Wednesday or Friday. Ciao, ciao.